All right, Bismillah. Assalamu alaikum. So let's get started. Um, so today we'll, we'll, we'll continue with chapter, which, which part two of our chapter 16 on carbohydrates. And this is where we left off last time. We said you can have, you know, three member, uh, three carbon, four carbon, five, six, seven uh, carbon uh, sugars. They could be aldo, they could be keto. So let's look at aldo sugars. Um, so here's an example of um, a three carbon sugar that you guys all know. All right, we've talked about glyceraldehyde, so please uh, memorize that, of course. And uh, you can, you'll can you see that the OH is on, is on the right-hand side, so this is the D. And that's what they're showing you. All of them on this page are the D forms, um, because D form of carbohydrates are what's found physiologically um, in, in, um, in, 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 in biological systems, right? Uh, so uh, just like amino acids, you only, you only find in proteins, primarily the L amino acids, L form of the amino acid uh, for carbohydrates it is the D form so so D glycerol is shown here um, likewise uh, then you can have four carbon four carbon you can have was erythros or you could have trios trios uh, has this you know uh, on opposite ends uh, erythros have OH on the same side so I would say just mem memorize one of them uh, I'm circling I'm, I'm putting a box on on this ones here because these are the easiest ones to memorize so um, we we memorize um, um, <coughs> we, we memorize the the three carbon uh, glyceraldehyde and the four carbon which is erythros or if you want you can memorize the three O's as well but just one of them right again you note this is a D form and the D form is based on this most distant OH from the carbonyl uh, carbon right. Uh, that's why it's on the right hand side. It's a D form and then you have five carbons. So you so you have of course three carbons uh, You have four carbons then you have five carbon sugars for five carbon sugars um, of course as you see For five carbons you you can have you can have uh, a Ribose you can have arabinose and xylose and, and lyose um, They're all different based on the location of the the orientation of these guys, but all of them are D so all of them this has to be on the right hand side right so all of them yeah notice this right this is a D form so all of that and then of course you can have the OH on the left hand side or OH on the right hand side and that's how they're different again I would strongly urge you to mem memorize ribose this is the one that that really what what you want okay uh, and then you have six carbon uh, which are the the, the one that's shown here are the, are, the, are the six carbon sugars and again, all of them have OH on the last OH most far away from the carbonyl on the right hand side. Uh, so that's that's given. Um, and I want you to memorize glucose and in galactose. So I want you to memorize this guy here, glucose, as well as galactose. This is not this one here. These, these two, please. Right. And um, and I'll show you how to how to memorize how to draw structures. All of them are really easy. Um, you have OH on right hand side, OH on right hand side, right hand side, OH on right hand side, right hand side, right hand side. When it comes to uh, glucose and galactose, that is not on, on the right hand side, uh, and they are different. And you'll see how, and I'll talk about how to, I'll show you how to memorize the structure. So memorize uh, five from this page. Likewise, you can have keto sugars, and these will talk about D. The first one we will talk about is called dihydroxyacetone. Um, and, and the way I, I, I teach my students, of course, acetone uh, is is this guy here. So, so acetone is, is uh, propanone as well. So you have CH3, uh, C and CH3, and then you have double bond O, right? This is called acetone or propanone. And and what we have, we ha again re recall what sugars have to be. Sugars or carbohydrates have to be polyhydroxy aldehydes or ketones. So this is a, a ketone. And it has to have polyhydroxy. So if I say polyhydroxy, well, you know, I'm gonna just put in OH. So I'm gonna put OH here. I'm gonna put OH here, right? Two OH. And if I do that, then of course the carbon cannot be three, and this has to be changed to CH2 and CH2. This side, okay. So what I have now, I had to start off. I had an acetone guy here. So I had this acetone, but now what I have, I have two hydroxy. So I have a dihydroxyacetone, right? 
and that is really what this guy is. This is dihydroxyacetone, which, we, which is derived from acetone. So that's my way of memorizing it. So please make sure you memorize this. It's pretty easy. Okay. And then you have a 4-carbon and 5-carbon and 5-carbon and 6-carbon. So I, I'm not going to ask you to memorize 4-carbons or 5-carbons. Uh, we just go directly to a 6-carbon. And the 6-carbon that I want you to memorize is uh, our friend fructose. And you'll see why fructose is important. Um, it's a sugar that's found in fruits. That's where the name fructose comes in. So it's, a, it's an important keto sugar. And it's a 6-carbon keto sugar uh, as well as 3-carbon keto sugar. Of course, remember, these are the deforms as well. So to be deform, you have to have the most far away OH on the right-hand side. Um, and you see it is on the right hand side right um, okay so if I ask you for dihydroxyacetone is it a D or L form um, so D or L for this guy so we'll, let, let's let's see um, what you come up with and that's something to think about I'll probably ask you in the in the class tomorrow as well what this is all right uh, so moving on We've talked about glucose as very important. Um, it's found in many foods. It's also called dextrose or blood sugar. Um, and of course, we know that glucose is, is the most important sugar in the human body. And it is regulated. The concentration is regulated by insulin. Okay. Now, what they're saying here, this, this part, that under physiological conditions, glucose exists in a cyclical form, in a cycle, cyclic hemiacetyl form, where the C5-hydroxyl reacts with C1-aldehyde. Okay. Um, and then uh, what does that mean? So let's, let's right. So this is this is not actually complete. So let me let me complete this. OH is here, and CH two OH is here, and CH two OH is here. Okay. Now if you look at let's let's see if we can number the carbons. Uh, this is um, um, in fact. So let, let me let me just draw the linear form. I'll draw the linear form here. Uh, for you guys, so we have C D L bond O, H, two, three, four, five, six. So last one is C H two O H. Okay, so I'm, I'm showing you how to draw glucose. So I'm drawing D glucose for everybody. So see if you can please pay attention with. All right, now this is how you draw. The first one is aldehyde. The last one always is C H two O H, and then you have these bonds. Now remember. The last OH has to be on the right hand side. So last OH is this guy here, or it has to be on this side. Okay. So this is a D form. Now to know the position of the OH groups, so this is really what I do. My the way I memorize it, you have OH on this side, you go one OH on this side, and then go on the opposite end, and then you go on the opposite end. So you go crisscross, right? So you start off with this guy, this has to be on the right hand side, and then you go one up and then crisscross. And the other remaining guys has to be hydrogens here. We, we put hydrogen and hydrogen here. This is D glucose, right? Now, if I ask you, okay, let's let's see if you can uh, let's see if, we, if you can number them. So this is carbon number one. This is number two. This is number three. This is number four, and this is number five, and this last one is number six. That's how you do it. Okay. So now on on the, on, on shown here, let's see how we can number them. So this aldehyde group is shown here, like here. This is carbon number one. This is number two, this is number three, this is number four, this is number five, and this guy is number six on top. Right? That's how that's how it is. So if you look at the preceding slides, what they're saying is that carbonyl at uh, the hydroxy group at number five attacks a carbonyl. And this carbonyl as shown here, this C double one O. Now please remember this C double one O groups are very polar, right? So this becomes partial negative, this becomes partial positive. So that's exactly what's happening here. You have partial negative here and partial positive. And you've seen this for peptide bond hydrolysis with chymotrypsin. So now that's why the, the electrons can attack this partial positive carbon center. And then you have a nucleophilic attack here. And this is what happens that that this is what I you know this is was shown here. What's shown here is basically it can do yeah so what was what's shown here uh, is basically the linear form of glucose it, it, it is it's this guy here it is this 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 guy here right uh, but it's just each of the bonds can rotate freely so this is it arranged by itself and attacks it right um, and when you get that attack you can form this sort of bond here and this is called hemiacetal 
hemiacetal. All right. Um, so this this is what you get with hemiacetal. Now, depending on where this O is, if it is down, then you have this thing. If it is up, because this is freedom of rotation, uh, it can go up and down. If it is up, you get this guy here. So at this position, OH could be down or could you could be up. If it is down, we call it the alpha form. And the way I remember down as alpha, as you go down, down, it ends with down, this is alpha. And the other one is beta. So um, I, I am going to, so I've drawn, I've drawn the linear projection and I'm going to show you the cyclical form as well. Um, and then and we'll, we'll, we'll look at this in the class uh, as well to, to talk about a bit more. But glucose, as you've seen in the preceding slides, you can show them in this structure. This is called the linear form or the chain form, or you can show them, show glucose in this sort of structure, which is called the cyclical form, the cyclical form of glucose. And in the, in the next slide, we'll show you how to draw those. Okay, again, this is, so this is glucose, right? We said, right, so you have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Last one is CH2OH always. First one is double bond O and H, and then OH on the right-hand side, and then you go up, and then crisscross. One here and one there, and all the other ones are H. Right. So this is this is again in the open open chain form, and this has a name, um, and the name is Fisher projection, named after the scientist Fisher. And of course, when you're numbering them, please make sure you number them properly. Uh, the number this is carbon number one, this is number two, this is number three and four and five and six. Okay, um, and then it can form, it can it can take this take this sort of uh, arrangement, um, and this is the, in equilibrium that's shown here on both sides, and it can react um, depending on where the OH, if it's down, then you get hair, or if it is up, then you get OH on this side. Okay, so you, the, the open chain is really easy to memorize. We have done this here. Now, how to draw the, the ring form, and the ring form has a name, we call it Haworth projection, again, name after a scientist. So I'm gonna show you how to draw it on this side, on the right-hand side here. So again, you draw a hexagon with an O, like that and then you draw lines on that right so you draw a hexagon with an O on this position and then you start with this guy and you write CH2OH CH2OH now here OH is up then the next one which is this guy you put OH down if it's down next one is this guy you put OH up if it's up next one is here you put OH down and the last one here could be up or down and we'll talk about this so let's let's draw the bottom one again bound like this and at the, at the intersection draw lines like this okay so ch2 oh up oops let's draw nicely okay ch2 oh and then is it up i draw down is it down i draw up i draw down here and this one is could be up or down so now let's see um in terms of if if I'm say alpha, if I say draw alpha, I'm gonna put O H like this. This is the alpha D glucose. All right, glucose short form. Okay. Here, if I say beta, the last one I'm gonna put up here. This is gonna be beta D glucose, the full form, right? Um, and and that's shown here as well. Uh, so this is the Howard protection. So please make sure you know how to draw these guys alpha and beta as well as the open chain form and and i'll do this in the class as well tomorrow inshallah okay so again this is they're showing you the ring form uh, of course they're not drawn here but the 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 open chain form is shown here but they're showing you that carbon number the the hydroxy of carbon number five this attacks the carbonyl so this is partial negative this is partial positive so the electrons from here it attacks this carbon right um and, and, and that, that's, that's what's shown here. Um, uh, so when, when that happens, a hydrogen proton is taken up by this guy here, um, and it forms OH, right? Um, and then the, the, uh, the ring, uh, the, this H actually goes on that side. This H uh, is goes here, 
Okay. So um, now again, if I say draw the alpha D glucose, if I say alpha, it has to be ring form. I just draw down like this. CH2OH, up, down, up, down, and alpha. Alpha is down. I put down here. That's alpha, right? If I say beta, um, again, beta is easy. So I put CH2OH. If it's up, then down, down, and up, and then down, and beta, I put OH up, right? So that's where the, the, the beta and the alphas are. This alpha, this is beta. Okay. Now, um, same thing again shown here, uh, and, and these rings are actually called pyran rings. This is what pyran. Uh, so you, you may hear about this, you may see this in the text or somewhere. Uh, this is pyran, and so like glucose, we add OSE, pyranose. These rings are called pyranose rings, and that's why you hear, you see that sometimes you see glucopyranose, like pyranose. So again, this is the, this is the Fisher projection, uh, Fisher projection. Um, D form is here and up and crisscross. Um, they can have this reaction. You can have OH up. This is the beta form, and OH is down. This is the alpha form. But you always have. Please, I mean, look at this. You have OH up, down, up, down. Right? You, you must have that kind of thing. If you show it in a different place, different location is going to be a wrong structure. Okay. Now, based on this, which is more stable? Now, here you have OH on up and OH here as opposed to OH and OH, same thing. Uh, so there is a chance for steric hindrance here and less on this side here. And that is why the, uh, so, so so this this form is, is more stable. 99% of the time you find in this form as opposed to this form, right? So the Howard is much more stable. Now, it, within the Howard projection, within the ring form projection, um, you find that the beta is more stable. So, so this guy is, is, is more stable. Uh, so beta monomer is more stable than the anomer. So beta is 64%, uh, roughly 63% as opposed to 36%, right? Uh, so this is, this is more, the beta form is more stable because there's less steric hindrance um, uh, here, uh, this, this, this thing, okay. So uh, just like glucose, you can have six-membered rings and you can have a cyclical ring for fructose as well. You can have a ring form. Um, and to draw fructose, um, so again, we have to draw the, the open chain form and we have to draw the cyclical form. So open chain form, uh, again, first thing, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm gonna draw glucose first because we know glucose and it's easier to draw everything based on that. So OH is gonna be on the right-hand side. And then if you guys remember, one up, other side and other side right okay this is glucose okay this is d glucose now for fructose i'm going to do exactly the same thing i'm going to say exact same thing i'm going to have one two three four five and six six to oh now again remember fructose is a keto sugar that you have to remember glucose and fructose are six carbon sugars but glucose is is aldo and fructose is a keto sugar so to draw keto we have to draw keto we cannot draw aldehyde this is the aldo this is the aldehyde right so to draw keto keto has to be in the carbon number two uh, because that's the only place it, it can be so this is a keto sugar keto group is there now at the bottom whenever you have at the ends, the ends always have to be CH2OH. So this is CH2OH as well, okay? And then you have, you draw the lines like this. Again, this is a D sugar. I'm, 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 trying, I'm trying to do D fructose, D fructose. So D, it has to be on this side. And just like glucose, you go up and you go across, right? So that is D fructose, which is very similar to D glucose, right? Very, very similar. So please make sure you guys uh, see how to draw these guys uh, and, and memorize the, the open chain form, the, the Fisher projection. Now, glucose can also form, uh, same sort of thing can happen. This is, you know, uh, this is of course partial negative and partial positive. The electrons from the O can attack the carbonyl carbon. You can form again 
um, a, a, a bond. This is shown here. Now, of course, the, the, the problem is is reacting is going from this to this. That's what you're getting, right? So you have CH2 one end and CH2 on the other end, and it's a much smaller ring. So ring is going to be, you know, one, two, three, four, five carbon ring, five membered ring. So the the way you draw it, you draw O, you draw five membered, not six membered, and then you go down, 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 down. Now, remember you have to have CH2 OH on both ends. So you have CH2 OH on this side and CH2 OH on that side, both sides. Now again, if this is up, we go down. If it's down, then we go up. See? Um, so we start from this end. Now, in terms of numbering, um, this is carbon number one. This is carbon number two. This is number three. This is number four. This is number five. This is number six. OK, uh, and that's how they're numbered. Uh, as as you can see here, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is so this is carbon number one. This is the number two. This is number three. This is number four. This is number five, and the number six. And these numbering are important. So that's why please keep keep track of them. They are important. So this is now here. The last one you have to add OH. So uh, carbon number two, you have to have an OH. So if I put OH down, this is again alpha form right if i say draw beta glucose then you say oh no problem to draw beta again you draw a five member ring put ch2oh ch2oh up then down down and then up and then oh um, sorry i made a mistake right see oh this oh is if i say down and this is alpha and I don't want to draw alpha I want to draw beta so I'm going to erase this and I'm going to put OH on top but at the bottom I have to put CH2OH so CH2OH has to be on both ends this is the beta form beta form beta is up so please make sure you understand how to draw glucose in this form fructose in this form fructose and the alpha and fructose as beta Okay, uh, now uh, again, this, they're showing you the alpha form, OH is down, and the beta form, OH is up. But again, you go this, you know, up, down, uh, up, up, down, up, you know, up, down, up. Uh, a configuration, and, and again, to draw beta, this is OH on the right-hand side, always for D, and then you one up, and then go crisscross, just like glucose. Okay. Um, so this is uh, 22 minutes, 23 minutes. So let's, let's continue again, One uh, continue on. So we'll talk about galactose. So we've talked about glucose. Um, so we know what glucose are. So glucose, we've talked about, uh, we've talked about fructose, right? Uh, six carbon sugars. Now another one, we have, this is the keto sugar. This is the aldo sugar. There's another aldo that we, we'll, we need to talk about, which is galactose. This guy here, gal galactose. Um, this is aldo. Um, now, galactose, as lactose, uh, implies is found uh, in mammalian milk, uh, and and, um, and we will talk about this. Um, in fact, what's found in milk is called lactose, uh, uh, which is different than galactose, but we'll, we'll, we'll talk about this. Um, it's an aldohexose, right? Very similar to glucose, but only it's changed in one position. One OH is in a different position than, than glucose, right? Um, so. What, what they've drawn on, on in here this is uh, this is galactose this is galactose right so if I ask you is it L or D you'll say this guy here you'll say oh it's D oh which is on the right hand side so let's let's draw same thing see how glucose would look like so glucose this has to be CH2 OH and this has to be double one O and H the aldehyde group now I'm gonna have OH on this side right always now for glucose again if you remember glucose, you have to go one up here and then on this side here and that side here right and then H and H and H so if you look at glucose and galactose and see what is the difference OH is here OH is here Let's make a circle here um, here OH is here OH is here right um, which is here which is here the only difference that you see 
is this guy here. Um, the difference you see here is this guy versus that guy, right? So for glucose, for again, please make sure that you, you notice the difference. For glucose, this you know this is carbon number one, two, three, four, five, six. Carbon number four, which is on the right hand side for glucose. For galactose, it is on the left hand side, and that is the that is a that is a difference between the two. That is the only difference, right? Now. So carbon number four that's different, and I think if you look at the, you can draw the structure. Um, this is again carbon number one, two, three, four, five, six. So the way we go, we go up, then we show down, but we don't do it down. For glucose, for glucose, for glucose, OH will be here, right? But it's not carbon number four is different for galactose and glucose, so we flip it. We we flip it. We put OH is here, right? Um, so, uh, so that would be the uh, uh, the the galactose structure. So, please make sure you know how to draw this guy, um, as well as how to draw this guy as well. Okay. Uh, so, let's see again, same thing. That's showing you the difference between glucose and galactose. Um,